Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Brazaria with Elixir for Tier Games. Oh, uh... Alright, Scholarly Drive, nice. Okay, we got some... we got some stuff. Uh, we still have more stuff to get from there, so we'll just go back. Alright, I guess we just have to run around and chat to everyone in here. Hi! Kurugade, how you doing? It seems whatever I drink leaks out. Looks like I need to plug some gaps. How do you even drink? You haven't got a head. Rokuro, please talk to me. Hey Rokuro, have you seen Eleanor? Uh, probably. I don't know. <sighs> Bit drunk. Just try not to go overboard. But man, are we a bunch of screw-ups or what? I mean... We've kidnapped a prince now. They gotta have laws against that. Broke out of prison, flattened Helavis, tried to assassinate a shepherd. Hey, how many infractions do you think we're on the hook for? Pardon me if I don't stop and count. If you don't like it, nobody's forcing you to tag along. No, I still haven't repaid my debt to you. You say that, but you really just want to beat Shigure, don't you? Whoa, to me, they're both connected. It's a long story, but I can tell you if you... I'll pass. Well, join me for a drink then? Can't. I'm 19. Interesting that they have a legal drinking age, and that um, Velvet's actually a being the legal drinking age, even though she's going off and murdering people and committing arson and everything else that Rukuro just mentioned. You need to be an adult before you can drink. I don't care if you're a demon. That rule is universal. I can't remember any of your voices, but I'll try my best. You see Eleanor around, your royal highness? Sorry, but I have not. How about you, Griffin? Where? Hmm. All right. Griffin hasn't either. I, I see. Princes aren't this weird in stories. Yeah, you're not. T you're telling me. Okay, hi, Dial. You know, since we've taken over the island, we get to name it whatever we want. How does Dial Isle sound to you? I think maybe you should keep your thoughts to yourself. Jeez, well excuse me for existing. I know it's a prison island, but could you be any less hospitable? It's Velvet we're talking about. Come on, Dial, what do you expect? Come on, uh, hi. I- <laughs> This is not gonna work, okay. Eleanor looks like she was feeling down. Please go find her and cheer her up, Velvet. I'll try to. Huh. A most interesting interpretation. What do you make of this part here, then? Hmm. Well, if you pronounce it Loney Kyle, then it'd mean midriff. Which probably isn't right. Maybe Muse Mila? Well, that would make this passage read, Porges are nummy. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's not right either. <laughs> What's wrong, Velvet? Have you seen Eleanor? No, I haven't. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to watch her. Just read somewhere where there's more light. You'll hurt your eyes like this. Uh, okay. Oh, Velvet. That was soft. Anyway, hi there, Grim. <sighs> Did you have to drag me away from a tropical resort to a place like this? Well, at least I have a bright, passionate student to keep me company, so it's not all bad. If you say so, Grim. Grimoire taught me a lot about the ancient tongue. It's so fun to learn something new! Mopus is such a good kid. I love him. Bad. We all aspire to be as good as him. Hey, you got any idea where Eleanor is? No, sorry. I was having a meeting with Benwick and the crew about our search for Eifried. Are you sure you're okay with putting that off? At this point, the Abbey doesn't have much reason to keep him alive. Wouldn't you rather look for him than Therians? I know time is a factor, but we still don't have any decent leads. I think we need to stir up the Abbey and see what shakes loose. And who better to do that than you? So this works for both of us, then? Never fear. I'm still acting out of self-interest. Besides, Eifried won't die so easily. He's a strong man. It'd take a lot to bring him down. Yeah. I've never seen him flinch from a storm, no matter how choppy the seas. Where angels fear to tread, as they say. <laughs> Probably some of that as well. 
Aizen must really respect um, Eifried. By the way, do you never catch cold either? Well, <laughs> considering our um, conversation with Rokuro back in um, God, whatever episode that was, like episode 7 or something, I don't think she does catch cold. Hi, Magilu. Um, Can I speak to you? Hey, any idea where Eleanor went? How should I know? I'm too busy to spare any time worrying about anyone else. You look pretty distinctly unoccupied to me right now. Right. I'm busy being unoccupied. You're... what? It's simple. When you have free time, it means you're busy trying to avoid having any business to do. You're too weird for this world, Mogulu. Says the woman with the world's blandest personality. I always figured you'd be the type to take off as soon as things got hairy. So what keeps you here? I am utterly, completely, totally, wholly devoid of anything else to do. Which is to say I'm... Unoccupied. Right, now you get it. Besides, I have to stick around to see how our bet turns out, don't I? God, I forgot about that bet. Life is nothing but time to kill. Being bored is a pretty huge hassle if you think about it. Well, to be fair, it's not like anyone asks to be bored. So, yeah, guess you're not wrong. Hi there, dudes. How is it hanging? It's called a hideout. We're pirates, so that's the proper term. No, it's a secret fort. That sounds way more inspiring. But how old are you two? <laughs> oh, man. Secret fort sounds better than hideout, by the way. Just my opinion. Hi, Bienfu. Do you want something? Have you seen Eleanor? No. Honest. All right, thanks. All right, Bienfu, if you say so. Like a pretty bird. Did Eleanor come this way? The ever earnest exorcist? Aye, I saw her walking toward the watchtower. Thank you. Eleanor! I almost said Velvet instead of Eleanor, and that would have been awkward. I always do that, though. I don't know why. Like, they're not even alike. I just mix up their names for no reason. Oh man. Oh well, it's fine. It's cool. Take me to where Eleanor is. <sighs> there you are, Eleanor. Kamoana's worried about you. You actually came looking for me? Can't say no to a crying child. Ah, uh, indeed. She may be a Therian now, but deep down, she's still a lonely little girl. That's something I've come to realize in traveling with you all. Wretched demons and Therians, even the Malachim who I'd only thought of as tools, they all live and think as humanly as the rest of us. <clears throat> I was so clueless. I didn't know what demon blight really was, nor what the Abbey was doing. Through it all, I... I knew nothing beyond blind belief in whatever I was taught. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. The coward's path is not that of an exorcist. They may say... I didn't know anything, so I can't be blamed. I can't... I can't live like that. <sighs> I think I'll stay here a little longer to cool my head off. Please tell Kamoana I'm alright. Don't stay out too long. The sea breeze can get cold. Thank you. Don't get the wrong idea. If you got sick or something, Kamoana and Lafisat would worry. That's all.
I have something to say. There's something I've been hiding, until now. I've been acting undercover on a special mission for Lord Artorius. I was to watch over the Malik Lafayette and bring him to Abbey Headquarters. So vital was the mission, I was to do whatever it took, even kill my fellow exorcists. You were gonna take me to them. I'm sorry for deceiving you, Lafayette. Originally, I was going to get you to lower your guard, then take you in. However, I no longer intend on following the Abbey's orders. You're turning your back on Artorius? No. I still believe in the sincerity of Lord Artorius. That the world he seeks is one that will benefit all humankind. But nevertheless, I simply cannot bring myself to condone the methods he has chosen to achieve that vision. So... I will help you protect the Therians, until I discover the answer I seek. Eleanor! I want to live a life that I don't have to be ashamed of, and to do that, I have to learn the truth for myself. <laughs> so, you live by your emotions after all. Maybe you found your own creed. Welcome to our wonderful world of wickedness! Don't equate us! To act in opposition of one's feelings is to act opposed to reason. You never make things simple, do you? You should be glad I don't. Yeah, after all, she's my vessel. Yes, yes. So, I think our next order of business is to find ourselves another Therian. Well, that's the extent of my insight. Anyone got any actual leads? What if we had Eleanor swipe some intel on them from the Abbey? That could work. I don't know. It wouldn't work. Officially, the Abbey still considers her a traitor. So who would leak anything to her? Yeah. Besides, we can't put Lafayette in danger like that. And anyway, Eleanor's terrible at being a spy. Ungracious. But accurate. You know that special underground cell from yesterday? I want to go back there. There's something I want to try out. All right, let's go. All right, looks like we have to head to the maximum security cell. But before we do that, we do have a skit here. I'm shocked. Laffy said, I must offer you an apology. What for? For spying. I was plotting to take you back to the Abbey. I am truly sorry. It was your mission, wasn't it? Somehow I think I always knew. You... you did? Call it a hunch. Besides, Velvet was really suspicious of you. Whenever you feel you're doing something wrong, you start to sweat a lot. It seemed odd. How long have you known? Ever since you became a vessel for me. I think Velvet knew too. <sighs> That's quite a shock. I failed completely in my role as a spy. It's pathetic. Shameful, really. Well, I think it says something good about you. Huh? Someone who can't lie well seems like a better person than someone who has an easy time of it. Thank you, Luffy said. I think you're the better person here. I wouldn't go that far. Hmm? What are you doing here, Bianfu? I was hoping you'd let me join in! We're in the middle of something important. Please leave us be for now. I'll be quiet. Just let me hang around, all right? Afraid not. Bien. Madame Eleanor is a mealy head. She's a what? Laffy said. Thank you. I hope we can stay friends. I hope so too, Eleanor. That was sweet, until Bienfu came in and freaking ruined it all. Speaking of whom, we have yet another skit. Bienfu tells all. Hey, Bienfu, I have a question for you. I know Magilu likes to call herself a witch and all that, but what is she really? The obvious guess would be that she's an exorcist, but I don't think I ever saw her name in the roster. That's not surprising! 
She is indeed a bona fide dark witch. I should know. I saw one night just how scary she could be. It's enough to keep you awake at night. It was near the crater of a volcano. Above the bubbling magma sat a huge cauldron. Inside the cauldron, a blood-red liquid stickily simmered, boiling in the hellfire heat. When droplets splattered onto Miss Magilu's cheeks, she just cackled and licked it off. And she kept the cauldron boiling for three days and three nights. What was she making? Strawberry jam. What? What's scary about that? I was just getting to the scary part. Instead of using sugar, she put in soy sauce, cooking wine, and liquor. Soy sauce and strawberries? Is that normal? You wouldn't think so, but that contrasted sweetness, sourness, and saltiness actually makes it taste great. Not that someone like you would understand the appeal. You have to have a refined palate like mine to appreciate it. Wait, I've heard of that. You can boil things in soy sauce and wine to preserve them. When you do it with strawberries, it's called strawberry soup. That's right! Actually, strawberry soup has sea urchin and abalone, not strawberries. It's just called that because the sea urchin plumps up like berries. And it's not preserved either. Really? Well, I had no idea! Wow, I really liked it too! I wonder if the reason she's never made it for me again is because she realized the mix-up! Now that I think about it, that's not the only thing I like that she made one time. Like durian jellies and the candied sweet fish, too. I think I see what's going on here. What does the food she's made more than once taste like? It's just normal stuff, like what you guys always have. Only a truly scary witch could hide that much cooking talent behind such plain tasting food with no one the wiser. If you say so, Bienfu, I'm not quite sure I agree with you there. Um, there's also another skit here, The History of Fragrant Wood. I know this smell. Yeah, it's Prince Percival's fragrant wood perfume. When I told him I'd never smelled it before, he put a little on my sleeve to try it out. I love the smell of the royal family's perfume. It's distinct, but not overpowering. It's made from Fandaria trees, conifers that grow in a snowy land. I've noticed that you and Velvet and Mogilu smell nice, too. Do you all wear the same perfume? We do? We don't use that stuff, but maybe you're smelling the soap we use. Oh, can only the royal family wear fragrant wood? No. Some fragrances, including the Fandaria-scented ones, only the royal family can use, but most don't have any such restriction. If they all smell so good on humans, why doesn't everyone use them? You know... I've never thought about that. Why do you think that is, Aizen? It's a bit complicated. To explain it right, I'd have to start with the history of bathing in Midgand. A few hundred years ago, people believed they would die if they took a bath. They were so terrified of baths that they wouldn't even go near one. I can't believe people would be scared of taking a bath. Why would that even happen? Well, at the time, a deadly plague was running rampant, and people thought that it could be transmitted through bathwater. Bear in mind that this was all before we had proper plumbing or techniques to purify water. People couldn't just bathe anywhere. Sewers like the one we used to sneak through Logris are a fairly recent construction, only around a century old. Some people even thought bathing at all was unhygienic. Right. As bathing went out of style, the royal family started to use these fragrant woods. Covering up their bad smell with a good one. Yep. As a result, their perfumes used to be far more potent, to the point where you couldn't even tell if it smelled good anymore. But nowadays, nobody actually believes that bathing can make you sick, right? As civilization advanced, plumbing became widespread, and baths themselves became much cleaner fixtures than they used to be. And the fragrant woods fell out of favor because they were no longer necessary, right? To the contrary. As the people gained prosperity, the perfumes became a popular display of wealth. The newfound popularity didn't last long, however, thanks to the propagation of a new disease. One that didn't transmit through baths. Demon blight, you mean? With the rise of demon attacks, life outside the city walls became increasingly difficult. 
With fragrant woods now harder to come by, the perfumes once again became the domain of royalty. I guess that means that fragrant woods share a long and complicated history with plagues. To cover up the truth of malevolence, the powers that be spread rumors of a demon plague, continuing their time-honored tradition of covering up one stink with another. <laughs> so, what do you think of the perfume? Do you like it? Yeah, it smells nice. But I think I like the smell of soap better. Huh? Oh, laugh is it. Oh, we have yet another skit here. Our very own secret hideout. This island is so amazing! It's far away from any other people and has so much hidden stuff underground! It's such a perfect hideout! Just thinking about it makes me so excited to be here! Yeah, I guess. What's wrong? You were so excited to be here before! Don't be such a drag, Loppy Set! It's just that this used to be a prison. People were brought here to suffer. If you're worried about how I feel, don't be. If I really hated this place, I wouldn't have made it my base. Hell, I was imprisoned here too, but now it's the secret fort I always dreamed of. I still haven't forgiven the guard who ate all those marron glaces I was sent. I'll let the past be the past. What part of secret fort are you not getting? Yeah. But it can't all be just for fun and games here either. In order to maximize the success of our future battles, we need to maintain and improve this base going forward. This place seems sturdy as it is. Does it really need more work put into it? Nonsense. This place was built to specialize in holding prisoners. We can make it better suit our needs. What are you proposing exactly? Well, I think we need to start with smokescreen generators. They'll be effective against intruders unfamiliar with the layout here. Of course, afterwards we'll have to clean up all the soot, but still. No thanks. I think we need something to put out fires. The fire at Helavis was really scary. We have Malakim like you who could use water arts, though. If anything happens, you can just put it out. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. What we really need are some secret underground tunnels. If things get too hairy here, we'll need an underground escape route. We can put in hidden doors, and even some fake ones to trick the enemy, too. We have two separate docks. That's good enough. No enemy is going to attack without taking both docks into consideration. That's why we need to build underground tunnels before anything else. But we're on an island. You know, surrounded by water. Where would these tunnels even lead to? Isn't it obvious? We'll dig underneath the sea to another uninhabited island nearby. But there are no other islands nearby. If it means getting my tunnels, I'll build an island too. Are you listening to what you're saying? It sounds like he's daydreaming to me. And what's wrong with having some dreams? This is a great opportunity we have here. You guys just don't get it. It's okay. I get where you're coming from. But they'll never understand. You might as well save your breath. I freaking love Aizen. Oh my god, he's such a nerd. And like, now that I think about it as well, he's a pretty strong Earth Malak. I'm sure he could actually do it. Like, build tunnels and even an island if he needed to. Just get a water Malak to help him out. Oh man. <laughs> he's such a nerd. <sighs> There's so much backtracking in this prison. Ooh, expedition. Let's have a look at that. Take a look at this. Well, well. Now here's a fine haul. Nice! Okay, we didn't actually Scout get anything new. Setting sail. So hopefully this time we'll get something new. Uh, but we'll see. Alright. Keep going down the stairs. We'll eventually get to Velvet Cell. Might take a while. <laughs> oh, man. Seriously, why do they make us run back here every single time? <sighs> they were just like, we want to reuse the Titania assets as much as possible because it's what we spend all of our money on. <laughs> it's like, okay then, guess we're doing that. <laughs> Alright, hi there door, take me to the cell! Finally made it! It helps you go down the right blit. Blit? Blit? <laughs>
We're here. What now? Well, so I've been thinking about Earth Pulse points. They're where the flow of the Earth Pulse, the Earth's natural forces, are concentrated. Right. And Inominat is using those points to acquire malevolence and reawaken himself. You seem to have a knack for sensing them out. Once you're close enough, you can even pinpoint their location. Except, I don't have to be close at all. When we came here yesterday, I felt another place. A place just like this. Are you saying you can use this Earth Pulse point as a conduit to find the others? I think so. I don't know how far it works, and I can't say if Ethereum will be on the other end. Still, it'll give us something real to go on. Please, give it a try. Okay. Anything? Yes, I felt it. There are dozens of Earth Pulse points scattered around, but I sensed a few big ones that stood out. So you can even detect their size? Yeah, at least I think I can. This island is one of the big ones. There are two more like it somewhere to the east and the southeast. But I think those are the Warg Forest and the Temple of Palamedes. Still... That suggests we're more likely to find Therians at the larger Earth Pulse points. We've got three Therians to go. Anything that helps us narrow down our choices is a boon. Yeah, you've done great work today, Lafayette. That's for sure. Thank goodness you're here. You're a marvel. One of the wonders of the world, kiddo. It's not that big of a deal, really. Hmm. Then let's go Therian hunting. We have an honest-to-goodness lead. Or dishonest-to-badness in our case. Broke again. Still not good enough. You think it's your swords that are weak? You don't think maybe your body's just stupid tough? No. If it can't cut me, it's just not good enough. I need stronger materials to make a better sword. I'd love to try Orichalcum, but getting that stuff is next to impossible. Orichalcum. That's the strongest metal in the world, right? A rare metal that's only been found in ancient ruins, and seldom at that. I've seen fragments of the metal myself but I've never even heard of a piece large enough to forge into a weapon. I have. I heard a rumor that a block of Orichalcum was discovered in an ancient ruin some 200 years ago. Unfortunately, the boat carrying it sank in a storm. From the depths of the earth to the depths of the sea. A sunken ship, treasure at the bottom of the sea. <sighs> that would stir any sailor's heart. If we knew where to find it, could it be salvaged? The ship's crew drowned, so nobody knows where she sank. Besides, it's a centuries-old rumor. Who's to say it's even true? Right. <laughs> no sense in wishing for what can't be gotten. I'm sure there's other material you can use. <laughs> even Dial makes a good point sometimes. Hey, what do you mean, even Dial? Even Dial's getting angry! Saying it like that's just weird, Kamoana. Even Kamoana's getting weird! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so our target is an Earth Pulse point about as big as the one here. Let's start with the closest one and go from there. Which way is it? The closest one... is to the west. Got it. Lead the way, Lafayette. My pleasure. All right. Um, looks like there's not anything else to do here. Um, oh, okay. There are some things on the docks, and there's something over that way. Well, let's go and have a look at these um, exclamation points. It's Dial. Hey, Kuragane. Let me ask you something. 
more complaining, is it? Come on, don't be like that. Every time I turn around, Velvet or one of the pirates is telling me to go make some delivery to some island. I can never get a break. Isn't that just a sign they think you're a dependable guy? Maybe, but I don't see them sending you off on errands. It's like they take one look at your face and decide to leave you alone. I don't have a face. Oh, right, sorry. A slip of the tongue. Maybe you just don't know how much work I do around here. It's more than you think. Anything to do with iron, I do it. Making tools, repairing things. What do you take me for? Some kind of cheeky freeloader? I don't even have cheeks. <laughs> You're too funny. But doesn't it ever annoy you to have all these kids giving you orders? I've spent my entire life thinking of nothing but forging swords. It's been centuries since I've interacted with youngsters like them. They can be a hassle. But at least, it's a new hassle. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. So I went along with whatever they asked. But I've been too nice, so they keep pushing work onto me. Maybe if I hadn't been so helpful, they would have stayed out of my face like they stay out of yours. I don't have a face. That's not the point. Aren't you even listening to what I'm saying here? You need to make up your mind. You and I got on this ship alongside these people, who are putting themselves in great danger in order to live the lives of their choosing. If you don't like it, then go on and get off this ship with your tail between your legs. Yeah, except I don't have a tail right now. <sighs> Doesn't that joke get old? If I had some oracalcum, I could make a blade harder than anything you've ever seen. But there's no sense in wishing for something that doesn't exist. I guess suppose so. We're a real collection of misfits, aren't we? Well, you're a sight better than my nagging friends back at Halvies, that's for sure. I lost a bet to a young man, and he dared me to prove my courage by sailing out to a class 4 island. Now, I can handle myself, but man... It ain't fun and games there. I nearly got killed by demons. You actually stepped foot on a class 4 island? Not even. I was still approaching it by ship when this stuff that looked like spider silk started spreading round. These bug-looking demons were using the stuff to try and climb aboard my ship. Damnation! The crew cut those threads as fast as anything, and we got the hell out of there. The whole thing left me bawling. Well... I'm glad to see you made it out safely. I'd suggest not going near there again. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't planning on it. I had enough of that place to last me a lifetime. You can now go to a new class for administrative zone, not that we really care. They say bug demons will bug you if you bump into them. Bugs me to say it, but I doubt that's true. Yeah... I don't know. Hi, Charles, you're back! I don't need to buy anything, but it's nice to see it hasn't actually completely disappeared. Hi. Uh, I understand why the Abbey turned this island into a prison. The waters here are filled with rapid sea currents. Make a single wrong turn of the rudder, and your ship will be capsized just like that. Not to mention the fog and all the storms that pass by. It must be nearly impossible to escape. Aye. To get on and off this island. You'd need a vast store of nautical knowledge and a skilled hand. Thanks to your curse, Aizen, we've gotten good enough to handle rough seas like this. The storm that kicked up when we made our escape was huge, and all we had were three novice sailors. Thinking back on it, we had some seriously good luck. That was a weird transition, but okay. We're excited to have a den to call our own, and the one we stole from under the enemy's nose, no less. If the captain knew about this, he'd dance a merry jig. That'd be a sight. I'm sure it would. Benwick, we're ready to go. The first mate told me we're going to be looking for an Earth Pulse thingy, right? The ship's ready to leave whenever. Do you want to depart now? Yes, we do. It's here! This is the Earth Pulse Point! Nothing but open water as far as the eye can see. Is your Earth Pulse Point down below? Oh... Uh, Most of this world is covered by ocean. So of course there'd be a lot of Earth Pulse Points in the deep sea. 
But surely even the Abbey would have a hard time containing Aetherian underwater, right? Looks like this one's a bust then. Sorry, everyone. Hold on. We've seen a bug Therian. You don't think there could be fish as well? You may have a point. I think I have just a solution for this. You do? This. What? what? Don't give me that look. I'll have you know this is Fujibayashi's rod. This baby's nine feet long, made from a single piece of the finest bamboo aged five years, with a slow 60-40 action that almost feels alive when it bends. Its exquisitely wrapped handle feels like an extension of your own arm. And just look at that elegant black lacquer finish. It's as perfect a fishing rod as there can be. I'm... I'm sure it's a lovely fishing pole, but... Fishing? Are you sure? This is Aetherian we're talking about. All the more reason. Remember who you travel with. Uh, okay? All right, if no one else will, I'm going to veto this fishing idea. Aw, oh, come on, let's give it a shot. Besides, I'm hungry. Even if all we catch is fish, at least we'll have dinner. Mm, I'd love to have me some koi or sockeye salmon. Don't encourage them. How do you attach the hook to the line? Like... this? <laughs> you don't go fishing much, do you? It's just been a while. I used to go fishing with my brother sometimes. This is my first time. Then we can try it together. I'll teach you how it's done. I didn't know you could fish, Eleanor. Yeah, when I was little, old man Tenny taught me. He was from my village. I've caught at least a hundred tree at loaches over the years. Wow! That's a lot of fish! Those two really get along. If I didn't know better, I think she's his sister, not his vessel. Eleanor certainly got Lafayette's number. Better watch out, Velvet, or she'll steal him away. Lafayette. Let's get the line set up properly. First, you take it and thread it through the hook, like so. That looks hard. Uh, hey. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it with your eyes shut. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Luffy! Huh? You mean me? Oh, um, I was just... Be careful there. Wouldn't want you falling into the water or anything. I'm not a little kid, you know. It's just that Luffy fell in once. A long time ago. Luffy? You mean your younger brother? That's right. You reminded me of him, is all. If you say so. Is that all you wanted to say to me? Yeah, that's it. Okay, then. I'm going back to fishing with Eleanor. Mm -mm. People aren't as easily swapped in and out as fish hooks, are they? Is that supposed to mean something? Oh, Velvet, uh, you gotta get it a lot tighter than that. Here, let me take a look at it. Huh? Oh, uh... All right. You know, I feel kind of bad for Velvet. Like, Eleanor did just kind of jump right in there and be like, I'll do it. It's even like the way she said it was just very... I don't know, self-righteous? Um, but I think Velvet is definitely getting a few things confused as well. Hi there! You think we can call up a Therian by blasting a cannon at the ocean? You guys are scarier than demons sometimes. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend blasting a cannon in the ocean. Hi! Can I have my rod back now? Hey, don't rush me here. If I don't get this squared away now, it'll just cause you trouble later. I appreciate the effort and all, but do you seriously think we'll actually catch a Therian here? Beats me, but the first mate hasn't met a fish he can't catch. Huh. Aizen's really that accomplished of a fisherman? I wouldn't think so, considering he's a reaper. <laughs> you would think that he just wouldn't catch any fish at all. Leave it all to me. I'll whip up a fearsome fishing tackle that the captain taught me himself. Sure, okay. Oh, hi. Hey, Aizen, how about a competition? Let's see who can catch the biggest fish. Don't be ridiculous. Fishing is a solitary battle. It's about meditation and self-control. Ooh, aren't you the philosophical one all of a sudden? <sighs> but I suppose. I can't deny I really want to put this rod to the test. 
Yeah, I know that feeling. Whenever I find a good sword, there's nothing I want to do more than to swing it. Sure enough. There's just something about good equipment that gets the blood pumping. Yeah. Although in my case, it's usually more like blood spurting. A bit too much blood either way, if you ask me. Listen, we're fishing no matter what. Wouldn't the competition be better for getting that blood of yours pumping? Fine. You're on. But we both know already how this is gonna end. <laughs> you can plan all the victory speeches you like, but fishing is like life. Doesn't always go the way you think it will. You ready? Let's do this. At what point did the Therian hunt turn into a contest? Why is it a surprisingly competitive, actually? With this and the whole bug thing as well. <laughs> With Fujibayashi's rod in my hands, my chances of defeat are zero. Zilch, you're going to regret this bet. Let's make this interesting. Whoever loses will be the winner's servant for a day. That could end up really interesting. Hi. Uh-oh, the skipper's got hold of the fishing rod. This is gonna get ugly. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm slightly worried though. Hi. Holding the rudder of the Von Eltia. Is there any greater honor for a man? That was a rhetorical question, by the way. Yeah, I kind of got that, but okay. If you truly admired the fishies, you'd never dream of doing this to them. No matter how tasty the bait, it's a poor trade for a barbed hook in the lip and a cruel death in the unforgiving air. I don't admire fish. Fish exist to be caught and eaten, as far as I'm concerned. Can't argue there. Raw, boiled, or grilled with a little salt. You can't go wrong. <laughs> and if they're nothing but food to you, even their wretched squirms of agony can hold a kind of beauty. <laughs> Alright, Mogulu, calm down. Hey, Velvet! I spotted a giant oarfish! Try to catch it! I'm feeling peckish. Why don't you try and catch it? <laughs> Hi there. How you doing, Bimbo? This really takes me back! One summer, Mogulu used me as bait to catch a whale. So that- so yeah, that was about as fun as it sounds. So I, I take it she didn't catch the whale then. Pity. <laughs> Old man Tenny sounds like he was a real goofball. Definitely. He used to say the weirdest things while we'd be fishing just to make me laugh. Like what? Oh, it was all nonsense, but it was funny to me. Silly stuff like... Papero popero pippity poppity poo. <laughs> yeah, that's silly, all right. Those two look like they're having fun. Hey, Velvet! I've got your rod all set up for you. I'll come over in a minute. I'm gonna talk to this pair first. <laughs> Tenny is funny, but it's even funnier coming from you, Eleanor. <laughs> There's Colette Collet's Collections, and the butcher meets meat at the meat. Tenny is a veritable treasure trove of birdplay. If you say so, Eleanor. This thing could even catch a whale if you wanted to. The rest is up to you. Now get out there and fish up a big one. A Therian, you mean. <sighs> Might as well give it a shot. It's not like anyone else remembers what we're here for. <gasps> Something's pulling the line! Stay calm. Fishing isn't about strength, it's about timing. Oh, okay. Got it. Here it comes. You ready? <laughs> Damn right I am. I'll fillet it before it can even land. If it's a Therian, don't you dare kill it. Now! Heave! Well, what do you know? Neither a fish nor a Therian. Well, shoot. Can't eat that. Oh. It looks like it fit you, though, Laffy said. Why don't you try it on? I concur. Maybe it'll bring out his unique personality. My unique personality, huh? See? What did I tell you? It looks great on you, Laffy said. <laughs> You... you really think so? Yeah. Brings out your special charm, kiddo. Come on. Back to Therian fishing. <sighs> hey, you don't need to take it so seriously. I have to catch the Therian. 
Maybe then Velvet will see me for who I am. Ugh. Not a bite. Oh, quit your grumbling. Who was it who said fishing doesn't always go how you think it will? <laughs> Spoken like a true heartless pirate. Oh, hey! I've got something! <sighs> Whoa, looks like I'm next. <sighs> Not a single decent catch. I think it's decent. Huh? Take half measures, do you, kid? Hmm? What's wrong, Lothi said? You look ridiculous. Take that off. Stop it! What do you know about me anyway? I I know that looks silly on you. All you know is your Lothi! Hey, Velvet! Something's pulling on your rod. Huh? Oh. It's a big one. Give it everything you've got. I know what I'm doing. It's. It's a big one, all right, but. A pot. Yay. But what's a pot doing out here? There's something inside it. <laughs> An octopot? Oh, they make such gross noises! Ugh. I wish they'd stop making those noises. Watch out! They're armed to the sweep! And they're shouting, Must you? Oh, God. I didn't expect her to talk about the noise right after I talked about the noise. That's quite funny. Oh, man. Okay. Come on, really? That, that went pretty well. Okay. That was scary. Be more careful before you approach a suspicious object. You think Luffy would have stayed back? That has nothing to do with this! Hold on. There's something else inside. How do man-sized zombies even... Fit in that. Now we gotta fight the shambling dead? A zombo pot! For a bunch of dead guys, they're awfully, uh, fleshy. Further support for the healthy octopus diet. If you say so, Buggy Lou. Okay. Ow. Oh, I forgot that I have a camera here. I'm uh, very slowly getting used to the battle system again. <laughs> okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. Sorry to cut you down. I have just realized I could have theriodized. Oh well, never mind. An octopus army, a horde of undead. What the hell is this pot? Magnificent. To think I'd get to see one with my own eyes. Huh? Is there something special about this creepy old pot? <laughs> creepy, you say? 
That's why these things need to be left to the professionals. Listen and behold. This is none other than a water jug made by the potter Groon during King Clauden's reign. It was a legendary once in a millennium masterpiece, but it was lost in the second warring states period 200 years ago. Assertive yet not ostentatious, the piece draws you in with its stately curves and the subtle shimmer of its colors, which belie a hidden savagery. <sighs> Two lectures in one day? <sighs> yeah. He's talking gibberish, but that's men in general, I suppose. The lost glazing technique of the Orosaurin is so vibrant, it looks like it could start moving at any moment. Huh? Oh, oh and start moving it did. Look out! The pot's a demon! Oh joy! The pot is a demon. Pandora pot, okay. This might be fun. Whatever you guys do, make sure you don't smash it! So, can I slash it? That's even worse! Stop arguing and fight already! I love Aizen! I love him so much! Bless this man! I love him! Oh man, okay. Oh man. This game is great. Oh man. Okay. Oh, oh god, okay, that broke through my, um, my guard. That helps. Okay. Oh, 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 my... Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I hope that I would have maybe stunned it while I was doing that, but apparently not. Oh god, okay. And uh, that was slimy. Okay, I didn't... Ooh. Nice! <laughs> okay. Oh man, this is fun. This is really fun. Okay. It's been so long since I've played Berseria that ow. That I don't know how to fight anymore. Yay! It's supposed to be weak against hidden arts, and here I am using Malak and um, physical attacks. However, whatever. I don't know, should I bring back Rokro? I mean, we have the... Ow. No, I should bring back myself. Yep, that's that's the only option here. Oh, ow! The second I come back and that happens, okay. I would use quickness. But, um, I don't think it's gonna let me. Uh... I might. Oh, okay. Got it. Nice. Okay. Um. Right. I um want to use a Peter shell of myself. Okay. Hi. Ow. Okay. No, that hurt. That hurt. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. Good <laughs> Eleanor wanted to get that, didn't she? Oh well, it's fine, I got it. Um, oh god, that's gonna hit me, but I'm gonna bring back... Oh, that was so stupid! Oh no! Okay, no one die. Okay. Rokuro, as repayment, bring me back. Thank you. Okay. Oh nice, I got a... Nice! Okay, this is fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to stop the heal? Oh, no, nope, not heal. Oh, okay. Oh, now I do need to heal again. Okay, uh, you guys take this one, I'm gonna heal. Okay. Yay! Okay, I'm healed, I'm good. And at least this is actually attacking it as well. I just do a heal after a combo. It's fine. Okay, that's really weird. This is, this is going. Slowly but surely. I also forgot there was a boss here. Um, so this is probably going to be a longer episode than usual. I'm sorry. Ow. Oh no. Um, okay. Oh, nice! 
Oh, dang it, I thought I'd... Dang it. Okay. Okay, that guard is against that, apparently. Doesn't look like a guard, but okay. Oh, guess he dies! Oh, oh no, oh no. Mine. Okay. <sighs> this is fine. Uh, I wish I could- oh no, okay. You immediately use a life bottle on, um, Velvet. Oh no! Oh no 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 bring me back Okay this is fine Holy jeez Oh god Also what the heck were you using? Um I want to use a life bottle on Okay, I'm gonna hide in this corner. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just someone stop it! Please! Okay, nope, 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 nope. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. No, it's not fine. Oh no. Uh, okay, this is fine. Uh, oh, let's go. 5,000 health left. We can do this, we can do this. If I can fight the final boss of Zysterion, freaking really hard mode. Chaos mode, that's the one. That I can fight a freaking Baz. I only have two souls left, that is a problem. Oh! Mine. Okay. Oh, it's almost dead. Oh, thank god. That was tougher than I would have liked. You're not kidding, Aizen. That took 10 minutes?! Oh wow, that was not meant to take that long. Okay. Okay. Well, this is fine. It's finally decided to behave itself. Wait, Velvet! Don't eat it! It's a pot. I'm not gonna eat it. <sighs> I guess there weren't any Therians to be found here after all. Yeah. If there'd have been any, you'd think old Aizen's Reaper curse would have drawn him out. Oh, so that's why all we caught today were weird, useless things. Right. I forgot about the curse. So all this was Aizen's fault, huh? Funny how quickly you get used to it. Oh, My power didn't end up helping us out at all. Nope. Hmm. But I know you're not the type to give up after a little setback. Isn't that right, Fee? Huh? Fee? It's your nickname. Not a whole lot of thought put into it, but... You're you. You're Fee. Velvet. Fee. I like it. It has personality. Thanks. Of course, if you still feel like giving up. No, I'm gonna find us the next Earth Pulse point. Oh, hey. There's something else inside the pot. This golden luster, it's... It's Oracalcum! I get it now. This must be where that ship sank all those years ago. The one Kurogane told us about. Hell yeah! Kurogane might actually be able to make me an Orichalcum sword. Nice find, Aizen. You too, Lafayette. It wasn't easy, but we didn't come away empty-handed. And just getting a chance to fish again was lots of fun. Yeah, I had a really good time too. Even I was entertained. 
Especially your little costume show, kiddo. The sun's going down soon. Let's head back to Titania. like we are back on Titania. We got a whole bunch of attachments. We have to end off. It's It's been a very long episode. I didn't expect it to be half as long as it is. Um, anyway, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today with the um, the pot, the dyson and the fishing and um, Fee loves its new little nickname. Hope you have a great day, night or whatever the time it is for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.